guys welcome back to my channel please remember to like and subscribe we have megan good and she's showing us her skincare routine but first a look at our online store visit our online store for all your jewelry needs the prices are affordable and the jewelry is beautiful so check us out today at noviorena.com <laughs> um so obviously i have a little bit of makeup on i had a panel earlier today so i have some tinted oil on and i have some concealer um so i'm gonna take that off now using my oil of olay cleansing cloths i like these because they're for sensitive skin and i have sensitive skin so I take this off Get all of it off. And just about done. And then you get in here. And then next, I'm going to take off my mascara, um, which is crazy because during quarantine, these lashes have grown so long. Um, and so I will share with you what I used to get them to grow long. But in the meantime, I am going to take off this mascara. Um, I like to use this um, cleansing water that I just think is amazing. It gets everything off. And my concern is always, you know, if you have lash extensions or even if it's your regular lashes, just making sure you really get your eyes clean because that's how people get styes and all kinds of stuff. And so um, making sure that you really get all your makeup off is a must, must, must. Um, so I am making sure that I am getting it all off. And then another thing is, you know, when you're taking off your eye makeup, especially the skin around your eyes is so thin. And so, you know, I kind of try to think of it as a great pair of shoes, like an expensive pair of shoes that I just bought. Imagine if I could only wear those shoes for the rest of my life, how would I treat them? And so that's how I try to eat, treat uh, my skin in general, but also specifically the um, skin underneath and around my eyes so that it would be in good condition for a lifetime, God willing. Um, so I've gotten that off, yay. Okay. So next step, um, I am going to wash my face. Now I use two different things to wash my face. Um, this is gonna be crazy to some people, but I use plain Cetaphil. Um, I love this because dermatologists always say this is something that you can use that's like a tried and true. You can trust it, it gets deep in the pores and cleanse really well. Usually when my skin's in great shape and nothing's going on, like that little pimple that I obviously popped that I shouldn't have. Um, I just use this one, but if my skin is feeling like it wants to break out a little bit, I'll use this tea tree oil cleanser from um, Trader Joe's. And I love this because it's antibacterial. So that means, you know, any type of bacteria, any type of zits trying to grow, anything like that, this is kind of the, the extra one that'll go the mile and make sure that you don't break out or stop a breakout before it gets crazy. So, I'm gonna cleanse my face now. Also, when I cleanse my face, I use either this one or this one. Um, this one I really love, and I'll leave the name of it. I think it's called Octo V. This one I love just in general when my skin is feeling fine and it's not breaking out or anything, just to get in there and make sure I really am getting inside the pores. But if my skin is feeling like it's breaking out, then I might use this one from Stylecraft, which vibrates and it's a little bit more um, intense of a clean. So today I'm just gonna use the Octo V. So I'm gonna rinse this face. Get some water on it. I'm gonna do a first kind of round with the Cetaphil just to get off any excess makeup before I go really deep with the um, Octo V. Okay. And here we go. But I got the first round of like um, moisturizer and stuff from like the 
earlier in the day, I try to like rinse that off first with like a quick rinse off and then I use the sponge um, to make sure that I get in there really, really well. Up. And sometimes I notice too, like if you still have a little bit of moisturizer on and it hasn't come completely off your skin, it won't lather up as well yet. But then when it starts to really take is when everything is really coming off. And yes, y'all have my little head thing on because during this quarantine, I just decided to let my hair grow. So I'm still not exactly sure what I'm doing with it. Um, so I've just been wearing hats and these lovely wraps. Um, I love this one because it's by, um, created by India and it's already pre-made. So the whole thing is just kind of like, um, not a hat, but I guess you could say a wrap. It's already pre-made. Which I love because it makes it easier than having to do it yourself. So I'm going to go ahead. And rinse this off. There we go. Make sure you clean your neck really well as well. There we go. Um, also, I make sure I clean this really well with hot water because you don't want bacteria to live inside of it or something crazy. Okay, so getting in next to like um, my astringents and like the last kind of um, part before I put my moisturizer on. So sometimes if my skin is feeling really, really well, I'll just use this. Um, hydrating toner by Silvana Skincare. I love her products. Um, and this one I just love because it's just a simple toner and it makes sure your skin feels fresh and it's calm. Um, if I'm feeling like I want to make sure that my skin is extra clean because I had on a little bit of makeup or something, I will use straight up witch hazel, which is a natural astringent, you know, the kind of stuff your parents used to use, um, which I love because it definitely does an extra level of cleansing um, to make sure that if there is any excess makeup that you missed or anything that you're washing your face mixed, um, it'll cleanse it off of your face, which I love. So there's that. And then if I'm feeling like my skin is breaking out, then I will actually use straight up Clearasil. I know I've been using it since I was a teenager, but if my skin is breaking out, it definitely will clear up that space. And um, yeah, it's just like a tried and true. Yet again, it just actually works. So getting into my moisturizers. So this one is by Skin Medica. It's a hydrating toner. Um, this is like my must have, like can't live without just, well, only thing I can't live without is Jesus. But point being, this is like the moisturizer that I'm like, this is my must have. So um, it's not super thick, so your face doesn't like feel super moisturized when you use it, but it does have all these antioxidants in it and all these vitamins, and it helps with um, fine lines and wrinkles and tightening your skin. So definitely use that on your neck as well, because as you get older, you don't want your neck to look like a turkey. Um, and I always go upwards because gravity is always pulling you downwards. And yeah, so after that, I use one of two things. Um, there's this Augustina batter, which this one is a little bit pricey. No, it's a lot of bit pricey. Um, but I love it because you can actually use it as an under eye cream, over eye cream, neck, everything. It does everything in one, but you have to only put on a very thin amount of it because if it's too thick for some people, it could break you out. The other thing that I use is straight up Cetaphil. Again, moisturizer. It won't clog your pores. You can't get it wrong. It's lightweight hydration. Um, and it works really, really well. So I kind of split between the two of them. Today, I'm gonna use my Augustinus batter, um, mainly because I had on makeup 
and I usually don't wear makeup during the day, but if I like have an appearance or something, then I'll put it on if it makes sense. Um, and so put that under my eyes, over my eyes, and all that good stuff. So next step is for nighttime mostly. So this is the eye cream that I use. It's Vitalized by Urban RX. Um, I love this stuff because it definitely tightens under your eyes. It gets rid of dark circles. It's really amazing, but you only use it at night every other night. So you can see what it looks like with Vitalize. Um, also at night, if I do have a zit, then I will use um, this Acne Serum by Urban RX as well. It's just very strong and works very well and it's on the spot treatment and it will knock it out quickly. Um, also at night, for my lashes, Lilash. Kind of obsessed with this stuff. I went down the rabbit hole trying to figure out what lash serum actually works. I read all the reviews, all this stuff, and so this is the one I came um, to and I started using it and my lashes grew like crazy and I don't even know if I'll ever go back to lash extensions again except for like a special event or something, but this has been a game changer and I'm obsessed with it. So going to during the daytime, after you moisturize, I always follow up with some sunblock. Um, this one's Catalea. It's by my dermatologist, Dr. Pearl Grimes. She's incredible. She's not big on like chemicals and things that shouldn't be in your skin. So she made this um, sunscreen. It's SPF 50. So I usually put this on after I do my moisture, um, moisturizing during the day. Um, sometimes I also use this one, which is by Kate Summersville. It's a SPF 50. It does have some chemicals in it, but I love this because, you know, um, sunblock tends to stop working after a few hours in the day. And so with this one, you can reapply it because it's actually a spray and you can reapply it over your makeup, which with most sunscreens, you can't apply over your makeup because you have makeup on. So this one actually is um, has a setting spray inside of it. It's a soft focus makeup setting spray and it is SPF 50 and you can reapply it throughout the day. So. Love that. And then last but not least, sometimes um, instead of doing moisturizer, I will actually put on this um, Urban Skin X. It is um, a Radiance Restore Oil. And I love this because if I just put this on my skin and then I put on like some tinted moisturizer or anything like that, it glides on like so crazy smooth and just looks so clean and just it's beautiful. So this is the other thing that I use sometimes instead of moisturizer if I'm gonna have a bit of a makeup day. So uh, that is everything. And um, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching my post. Thank you so much for registering to vote. We, again, are in this together and we are on the front lines of not just talking about it, but being about it and using our voice to make a difference. And that voice actually being um, actions, not just us talking. So I wanted to say I love y'all and thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and lastly, besides that, I will write beneath the post um, the things that I do monthly, which is like Morpheus 8, which is a skin tightening treatment that has microneedling and laser at the same time. Um, in between that, I do a little bit of microneedling and I also do Formo, which is a, a skin tightening treatment as well. So I will write all of those beneath and um, love y'all. God bless y'all. And... So there you have it guys, making good skincare routine. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on the next video. Bye!